Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts with Razzle Dazzle Marcus. In the last episode, Princess Jasmine's in trouble, apparently. Jafar has her, and it's our job. Actually, it should be your job, you motherfucker. Yeah, you're taller than me, so what? I'm just a kid. I could take you any time, though. Bitch. Anyway, we need to see Princess Jasmine, because Jafar has her, and uh, he also has the genie now. Nice job, Aladdin. Oh, by the way, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense how the fuck Aladdin lost the lamp in the first place, because... Let me heal up real quick. Get a free, uh, free heal up. I equipped the ray of light to myself, because I realized I was, like, really, really, like, jacked on defense. So, yeah. Plus, I kind of wanted the extra MP, just because... Extra thing of HP doesn't help either. But anyway, um, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense how Aladdin lost the lamp in the first place because in the cutscene, Iago just suddenly had the lamp when Aladdin had a firm grasp on it. Wait, did I say Aladdin twice? I meant to say, like, Iago just pulled the lamp out of nowhere and Aladdin just had the lamp in his hand. Don't know how Aladdin lost it when it was in his hand. I mean, come on, he's a streeter hat. I mean, he's good at stealing stuff. I don't know how he allowed himself to be steal. Like, I don't know how he allowed himself to be robbed so easily. The tiger head is being controlled by the Heartless. Crush the power of darkness. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of Heartless that spawn infinitely, I think. So what you need to do is that you need to attack the eyes. Right now I'm just trying to get on the back of the head. What is this, what is this guy doing? Oh, that's what he's doing. Alright. Yeah, he, he spits out Heartless. Alright, yeah, I'm on top of his head now. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to pull his head back. Whoa! Oh, hey, Aladdin's up here with me. Yeah, I just wailed the shit out of it. Ow! Stop! Stop! Fucker. Oh, God. Ah! Ah! I'm just gonna hang back for a little bit. I don't even know what he's doing at this point. Oh, hey, one of them's done. Oh, God. I fell off. Ah! <laughs> Come on, get back up there. Ow! Something the fish. Okay, yeah. He's almost done. He's almost good. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, God, I need to heal myself. Come on! Come on! There we go. Get! Whatever, fucking use thunder. Ah! Oh, thanks Donald. Oh wow, just as I heal myself. Alright. How do I not have enough MP for Thunder? Whatever, hold on. Let me do that. Oh, that didn't reach. How about that? How about that? Hey, there we go, right in his eye. And he's back to normal. I think it was always very interesting to me as a kid. Because when you look back on Aladdin right now, all we can think of is just like uh, Robin Williams' genie, right? But you kind of also forget like there's like some serious stuff in that movie as well. For example, Massive Tiger had that's like 
an entity in and of itself, when it's also an entrance to this cave that holds a fantabulous amount of power and fortune. You gotta forget about stuff like that, honestly. All I'm trying to do is get this chest over here. Hey, I got strength up. I oh, got. Yep. Open that up. Yeah, the Cave of Wonders actually looks far more different than it does in the movie. Oh, by the way, um... There's like, um... Like, so many things that, like... Are different between this game and, uh... Kingdom Hearts 2, the sequel. Of all those things that, like, are completely different... It's the, um, the worlds. Like, uh... I think it's no spoiler at this point, but... Uh, Agrabah returns in Kingdom Hearts 2, and like the Cave of Wonders in that game looks so much different than it does here. Like it, it's like completely different, really. It's like a whole other world, basically. I don't know why they decided to like change like. Can I get up here? Nope. I don't know why decide they decided to like go with a completely different look for. Um, I guess I can't get up there yet. I don't know why they decided to go for like a completely different look in the second game. But uh, I don't know, it's just like kind of a nit nitpick. There's like a bunch of chests in this world. Then again, it could be because it's like a completely different world now. Man. It's so good to be traveling in a different world right now. Because we spent so much time in deep, uh, deep jungle. Uh, can we do it from the water? Oh, yeah, we can. Cool. Because, like, the past couple episodes, we've been in deep jungle, and we had to go back to Traverse Town, uh, for, like, two different things. One being Hundred Acre Wood, and the other being to seal the keyhole. Oh, wow, alright, cool. Speaking of Hundred Acre Wood... We got our first torn page. Motherfucker. I guess I can. Wait, can I get it from here? Cool. Oh, wait, that's a different chest. Never mind. Got a cottage. Good stuff. Good stuff. There's something that you need to do down here. No, that's not where I want to go. Oh, wait, is it? No, actually, hold on. Let me go. Let me get past these heartless first. Watch out for these guys, because they're gonna shoot water at you. And then they're gonna knock you off. Alright, we need, yeah, we need to go to the bottom of this hall. And then jump down here, commit suicide. Actually, no. Like, all it does when you jump down is just, yeah, that. Oh, fuck, there's a trinity right here, we don't have goofy shit. Where we need Aladdin for what's going to come up next. Uh, I think we need to go over here. Hidden room, yeah, that's where we need to go. So... Uh... I don't know how... Hold on. Yeah, we need to hit that thing. Come on. I just need to smack that. Smack that booty. Smack it real good. And then that'll bring down like a door that was like blocking our path. You couldn't see it because it's not blocked anymore. <laughs> oh, Jimmy looks so sad. I don't know why he's not purple though. Because if you notice in like the movie, um, in order to like make different, uh, in order to make Jimmy kind of like different than how he was before when he was, um, controlled by Aladdin. Uh, when he was controlled by Jafar in the actual movie, he... The animators, like, gave him, like... Like, a different shade of blue that kind of looked like purple. 
And it's still thunderstorming outside. They made him like, uh, like a weird shade of purple, so it would kind of look, uh, not only like, as if like he was depressed, but also like, uh, as, like a, like a slight bit evil, like, a, just like a slight bit evil. Was I in here before? Yeah, I was. We go back here. <laughs> kind of funny just seeing like three guys swim up a waterfall, you know? Yeah, of course, like swimming down is no problem. Swimming up the waterfall is just kind of... Uh, what does that do? Uh, that does something. Forgot where that is. Can I touch it again? Oh, never oh. mind. Now go back down. Good. Alright. Yeah, there's no way. I need a... I need a different jump. Get the fuck? There you go. Like, trust me, when I get those abilities, it'll make, like, a world of difference. A whole new world of difference, as it were. Sorry, I, I just had to make that joke. That was a very, that was a very dry joke, by the way. It was like... Oh, man. Just something about the way I delivered it. Just like... Wow, it was really dry. I'm kind of, I'm kind of disappointed in myself, honestly. Oh, you know what? It probably goes to over there. Again, you could... Again, I, I, it probably does lead over there, but yeah, there is an ability that we can use to get over there anyway. And there's treasure room. This was blocked up before. Wow, I think we're actually gonna, like... Actually, let me get some of this stuff first. Uh... Let me get up here. Uh, go over here. And then I think... What you need to do... Yeah, you use a boo for that. And... Whoop! Hey, there we go. Hey, dumb missions! Oh, wait, um... Let me do this real quick. Party... Let me get Goofy back for a second because I just I just saw this. No. Yeah, that's that's like the only instance where you actually need um, a world specific character. Yeah, you do that Trinity and like it gives you a shit ton of money. Look at all that, huh? Look at all that money. How much money did I? Oh my god, that just pissed me up like two thousand. Um, alright. Let me get Aladdin back. I'm not going to be using world-specific characters, like, all the time, but, like... Eh, might as well use them sometimes, you know. I mean, after all, I might as well show them off. So, it doesn't get monotonous with just, like, the same trio over and over again. But then again, it does kind of get monotonous because I... If there's one party member that I will keep on, it's definitely Donald. For one thing, he's a few lever, a uh, few levels, like lower than me, as a default. And two, he's the magic guy. I'd rather have the magic guy on board than the brawny guy. It's been like that for me with Kingdom, not only with uh, Kingdom Hearts, but also for stuff like Skyrim. Oh man, that was a good one. That was a good. Thunder crash. Oh, Jafar, you blathermouth. Oh, yes, he didn't ruin everything. But yeah, stereotypical villain right there. 
explain to the guys that are the protagonists everything about your evil plot. The one with the lamp calls the shots. I don't have a choice. Oh man, yeah. This is another boss fight that I fucking hate. Jafar. You'll see why in a second right here. Ah, you son of a... Thanks, Donald. I healed myself anyway, but okay. Yeah, that's why I fucking hate Jafar, because he flies all over the place. He never stays in one dumb dilly spot. Like, see, look at that. I was jumping up on this fucking platform right here. And he decided to go all the way across the room. And he spits that laser. Which does like a shit ton of damage. It's like completely OP. <laughs> quick, quick, get out of the way! <sighs> yeah, Genie actually does fight alongside Jafar, but like he barely contributes. Which is, which is, pretty cool. And by the way, you can't hurt Genie at all. I mean, yeah, if if you're, if you're dumb enough, you'll let him hit you. I say, dumb enough because there's no way in hell that any sane player would let himself be hit by the Genie of all people. He actively tries not to hit you. If anything, he just hits like your party members only. Because their AI is like not that good to begin with. Oh my god, Jafar. I'm really sorry about this. Run. Yeah, see, like. Like right there, like. Why would you let yourself get hit by a genie? And you can't hurt genie at, uh, at all. He's not like the chameleon from the uh, the Clayton fight, where you can hurt both of them. Plus, it'd be kind of fucking, it'd be kind of fucking cruel if like you had to beat the shit out of the genie. I mean, everyone loves the genie. Who would want to fight him? Push him back, push him back, Jafar there, Jafar there, push him back, push him back, Jafar there, Jafar there. That was, um, that was an outtake that, uh... Oh, sweet, our first upgrade. Um, that was like an outtake that I just quoted from Aladdin. Like, that was one of, uh, Genie's lines. Believe it or not, most of Genie's lines were improvised. So much so, like, the Academy, uh, the Academy Awards were about to nominate Aladdin for Best uh, Original Screenplay, but um, they couldn't because of the fact that most of Robin Williams' lines were improvised, so, like, yeah. But yeah, that was one of his improvisations. Because in the movie, he, has, uh, he says, Rick and Rick and Rick, hit the sword into that snake! But, like... <laughs> Man. It's kind of funny to think that Robin Williams was the first one to make that joke. Jafar there. Yeah, let me just go down here real quick into this flaming pit of death. Oh shit. How the fuck am I supposed to fight that? Oh, I I guess we're not fighting the genie. We're gonna be fighting Iago. Who doesn't put up a single bit of fight at all. Seriously, like, th this whole, like... This whole fight, like, is really, really, like, cheap. Like, cheap in the sense for, like, it's so minimalistic. All you're doing is beating the shit out of Iago. Which kind of makes me feel bad, by the way, because I actually am a huge fan of Iago. 
Oh, he's hiding over there. Oh well. Oh no, he's coming back. Because, yeah, you're not even fighting uh, Jafar. You're just fighting Iago. Actually, I wouldn't even be. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even consider this a fight. It's just beating the shit out of th this poor, defenseless animal who is just only obeying his master, while his master is barely doing anything to keep his pet from being hurt at all. So yeah, think about that, why don't you? See, how how is this fair? I mean, granted, like, whenever Jafar hits you, like, the few times that he does, it hurts like hell. But, I'm still just dodging his... Flaming balls of death, and that's about it. Other than that, I can just focus on fighting Iago and Iago alone. Again, it's totally not like the Clayton fight where there were two different bosses that you could fight. Or rather, maybe I feel like you have to fight. Oh god, that was bad. That was a bad hit. Oh my god, Iago, get your ass back here. Another annoying thing. Because of the fact that there are all these moving platforms, it's kind of hard to hit Iago, especially since, you know, he can fucking fly. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm so close to beating him. It's just... Get the shit over with. Alright, come on. Yes, there we go. That was a sweet backflip I just did at the end there. Okay, Jafar. Back to your lamp. Wow. Well what a great one liner, Sora. You you really you really showed him, didn't you? Man, future me in editing, can you just put like a... Oh wow, two upgrades in one episode. Oh, I got Ansem's report as well. But uh, future me in editing, could you just put like a toilet flush sound effect right there when Jafar was going back into the lamp? Looks like Jasmine's been kidnapped. Sorry, Aladdin, but it looks like your princess is in another castle. Jasmine! Yeah, I would react the same way too. There's a like. <laughs> oh man, this actually does have like a little bit of a similarity to Mario, if barely any at all. Seal that butthole nice and good. And bada boom. Whoa, we better get out of here. Jasmine! Jasmine! Man. They really did make Aladdin say Jasmine like 50 different times, didn't they? Oh, by the way, this is the only time that you're actually going to ride the magic carpet, so savor it while it lasts. Actually, I'm not savoring it at all. This actually controls like shit. <laughs> Kind of like the um, it's kind of like the Into the Death Star thing from Return of the Jedi. Only 
Less Clement. Come on! I can barely turn this thing at all. Aladdin, you seriously need to get better traction on this carpet, man. Yeah, this seriously is like the Into the Death Star sequence. So, Jasmine's no longer in Agraba. Um, uh, yeah. If not, she probably wandered off somewhere while in the Cave of Wonders, and she probably suffocated to death. But, um, yeah, J Jasmine's no longer in another world. Let's just leave it at that. Helps you sleep at night better. <laughs> Sora, let's go find her. Sorry, I, I can't take you with me. Well, why not? Sure wish we could. While in the background, Len's like, Jasmine! But we can't. If we take him to another world, we would be meddling! That was very dramatic, by the way. I did not plan that. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking thunderstorm! <laughs> Just me saying meddling prompts like a fucking thunderstorm crash. <laughs> we would be m -m 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 meddling. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Aladdin, we'll find Jasmine, I promise. Well. Hello, you still have one wish left? Look, just say the word. Ask me to find Jasmine for you. Yes, please. Wish for your freedom, Genie. Okay, I know this follows like the plot of the movie, but I must point out. Um earlier Jafar like led in Sora on a bit of you know his plot, which involved getting the seven princesses of heart. So if Sora knew that, how come he didn't step up to Aladdin and say, Whoa, well, dude, you can't wish for that. We have to wish for Jasmine back. You know why? Because if we get Jasmine back, then they won't have seven princesses anymore. They will have six. Then that means they're short on one again. So they could have they could have wished for Jasmine back here, and that would have like stopped like the villain's plans. Because it's not even about like getting Jasmine anymore. It's about getting Jasmine back and saving the entire universe. Seriously, the needs of the few outweigh the needs of the many. In fact, you have like three different other people right here that could have wished for Genie's freedom. Fucking Claude. But hey, at least we have Genie as a summon. I don't know if it said that already. I wasn't paying attention. I was overanalyzing the plot. That's true. I brought the princess, didn't I? Oh, he was talking about Riku here. Was beyond I mean, Maleficent could have helped as well. One should be aware of letting it burn too fiercely. So I guess Riku was the one who got Princess Jasmine. Whoa, 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 lighten up. Uh, I'm as cool as they come, okay? By the way, kid, have we got something special for you? Huh? We had a deal, yes? You help us, and we grant you your wish. Oh, hey, it's our girl, Kyrie. Kyrie, go. Oh, fuck off, Riku. That's my girl. Go get your own. Just remember, this is no pleasure cruise. It won't be a pleasant voyage. Yeah, you'll get seasick and motion sickness, like. What's the catch? Like fucking mad. What's also, um. Yeah, one of our crewmates is affected by the plague, so you'll have to put up with that for a week. I only, want you to be happy. I only say a week because, yeah, that's about 
How long to last? But lest we forget, I um, we also don't have a quarantine session, by the way, so there could be a possibility that, yeah, the plague could last a bit longer than that, so... Yeah, try not to die on our ship. That would be my timer. Whatever, I can spare a few minutes. Here, take this with you. Hey, I got a new Keyblade. Hey, I learned Green Trinity. I'm getting all sorts of stuff today. Sora, please find Jasmine for me. I have a little added. Um, yeah. Well, I was about to say, like, before, like, I went to the 100 Acre Wood about summon spells. Um, was that, yeah, there are summon gems that we do collect. Hence how we got Simba in the first place, like right here. Actually, I actually haven't used a summon yet on screen yet, by the way. But, um, yeah, we get to summon Genie. Who, as far as I know, doesn't have a summon gem after all. And, like, we could just use that all willy-nilly. So, yeah. Let me, check a, let me take a look at some of the equipment I have. Yeah, let me equip that. Hey, we got a new keyblade now. Check this out. Well, bams. Look at that shit. Uh, what else was I gonna check out? I forgot what else I got. I got a new upgrade for my blizzard spell, which I think has a, like a bit of a longer range than it did before. Uh, fire also was upgraded. It doesn't look like it, but. Trust me, it's an upgrade. But, um, yeah. We, um, we are getting a lot of stuff today. But you know what we're also getting? A send-off. We can revisit some places and unseal more trinities. Wasn't there a Trinity mark in the accessory shop? Could this be a torn page from Merlin's book? Uh, yeah. Let's return to town and give it to him. Wow, alright, we're going back to Traverse Town once again. Oh, that does lead in the same place before. So, yeah, let's go back to Traverse Town real quick. And I guess next episode, while we're in Traverse Town, I guess we can take a look at that torn page. It probably won't take up, like, a lot of time, but... Oh well. Uh, accessory shop. And check this out. Up, up. Up, up. Hooray! Let me go up here real quick. Hey, oh! Welcome to the synthesizing shop. Wait, hold on. First, you have to listen to his explanation. Well, again, welcome to the pronouns club over here. Hold on. Let me put this candle out real quick. I don't know if I get anything for it. Do I? I guess not. Open up a few chests. Hey, some more Dalmatians. Open this up as well. A shard of some sort. Alright, alright. I guess we have to talk to this guy then. Sorry. It's not my fault you all look alike. We can use your items to make un... We can use your items to make unusual new items. Wow, you said items in the same sentence. Let us make something for you, Kupo. Bring back a bunch of items from your travels, Kupo. Yeah, it's so annoying how they say Kupo after everything. Welcome, Kupo. Seriously, shut the fuck up! Uh... We can make... 
One of those. I don't know how much more. Um, oh wow, we can make a bunch of those. Power chains, yep. 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 Ah, fucking make more of this shit. Uh, shit. Uh, we can make elixirs, I don't know why. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's just make everything. Uh, now let me... Let me check on what I just made. Uh, dark ring. Oh, that's just another elemental. Fuck, uh, why did I make two of them? Uh, raises max AP and defense. Oh, I guess it doesn't do as much as the protect word chain. Slightly raises strength. Slightly raises max HP and defense, which is very good. Very good indeed. But again, not as much as the protect word chain does. Hmm. So let me take a look at Goofy's strength real quick. I think Goofy's strength, yeah, it's a bit lacking. Well, I guess we can't, uh, next AP and defense. Oh, uh, actually, hmm. Yeah, all right, that's a good trade. Uh, what can I give Donald that he can benefit from? Oh, I didn't know I got that. Cool. Um. Hmm. Ah, fuck it. Might as well give him a dark ring. Also raises defense. Alright, so down to 20 defense right now. Goofy's at 19. Uh, what about me? Wow, my strength is like all the way up. Actually, I actually feel kind of bad for that. My defense is like at the same level as Donald and Goofy's, I think. Hmm. Ah, fuck it. I can indulge myself a little bit. Okay, so let me go back down here. Okay, cool. So, that about does it for this episode. In the next episode, though, we are going to go back to the Hundred Acre Wood, and we're going to take a look at that torn page that we've gotten in Acrobat. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Once again, this whole broadcast has been brought to you by Sam. It's everywhere. Get used to it.